to the match this evening. I am your host, Kamika, and this is going to be the grand finals of the of the Raw Esports League. Excuse me, sorry, my dog yawned in the background and it kind of threw me through a loop. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be Extreme Esports versus Colossal Gaming. So these teams, they've made it all the way through the playoffs. They've beaten all the other best teams in the league, namely BTM, who I know are really awesome, as well as, yeah, just a lot of really other great teams up in here. So we are in here. It's going to be a finals. And so that doesn't mean that we're going to be doing a bracket reset for those of you guys that are not familiar. I, I think that's what we're going to be doing here. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, everything is quite literally on the line right now in the Raw Esports League between these guys. I've casted quite a lot of extreme esports, Mr. Prime UK, Exifying Ghost. These guys are all really, really good players. And on the other side, I am familiar with Kaiser, I do believe, from Colossal Gaming. And let me take a little look. Yeah, I, I think I'm only familiar with Kaiser from their lineup, but it could very well be a different Kaiser for all the Kaisers in the league. But yes, so I do have to say I'm a little bit more familiar with the side of Extreme Esports and from what I've seen, the scene of them they in, the, in other leagues, they do really awesome stuff. These guys in particular, these guys are like a set group, I believe. Quinn may be new to their roster, but XFI, Ghost, and Prime UK have seen these guys, at, le at the very least, three, three of these guys together quite a lot, and they are pretty awesome. And so, let's take a little bit of a look at the maps that we're going to be going through today. There's going to be starting off on Embassy twice, so Embassy, Hardpoint, and Search and Destroy. And we're going to be going to El Asilo Control, which I'm a little bit happy to be seeing, to be totally honest with you, because normally I'm just always seeing hotels. I've casted at least like 70 games at this point. And at least like 65 of them have had hotel control. So glad to see that that's a little bit of a change here. And if we need them, we've, we are going to be going to hotel at least once on the map four, with it, which is hotel hardpoint. And then map number five will be fortress SND again if we do so need it. So yeah, currently we are waiting for these teams to get the lobby started on up. But we are going to be starting off on embassy, ladies and gentlemen. This is a map that is... Uh, it's a little bit about paranoia. It's a lot about killing your opponents. Where you, whereas like on a map like Fortress, you can win just off of rotations. You can't just win off of rotations on this map. If you rotate and your opponents are all still alive, you're gonna have some very dicey objectives. <laughs> but if you kill all your opponents on repeat, you can much more easily figure out where they're gonna be spawning, keep them locked up in those spawns, and then have some easy time on all these objectives. I'm talking about P3. I'm talking about P2. I'm talking about P5. It's where a, a lot of these objectives on this map do lend themselves very nicely to killing your opponent on repeat and keeping them spawn trapped and away from each other. The spawns on this map can also be a little bit interesting in the fact that half your team can be spawning over here and half your team can be spawning over here, which <laughs> makes it a little bit difficult to make full team efforts at breaking objectives. So again, getting full team wiped on this map is an absolute not, can, cannot let that happen. And on the other end, it's a very, very good thing if you can get the first full team wipe going for your team. You casted us in the last final? Yes. You were D4 Immortals? Oh my goodness! That's why I recognize you guys. That makes so much more sense, Siski. I really appreciate you for saying that. Pricey, yes. Yes, that is where I saw Kaiser before, and Pricey. And so, yes. I These guys are D4 Immortals, just under a little bit of a different name. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, these guys were in the last finals, and so, yeah, I, I do recall these guys now. I remember the name. They were really good. And so, Extreme Esports, I've seen them as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get on in here. I'm just waiting for the all clear. We've had eight people in this lobby, nine including me, for a solid, like, at least ten minutes now. And I am ready and ready to go. And I'm sure that the players are ready and ready to go as well. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, while we do have this little bit of a break in the action, you guys can go ahead and follow Raw Esports on Twitch as well as on Twitter. They do provide awesome leagues like this, and I do believe they also... Well, I've also casted them in CSGO when they had teams, so if you guys want to see some awesome stuff coming out from Riot Esports on all fronts, not just leagues, you guys can go ahead and follow them. And if you guys want to follow me in particular on Twitch, I'm Kamika underscore, but on Twitter, I am Kamika underscore 1818, because name Kamika, surprisingly, was already taken. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting going here very, very soon. I am just going to send this to a quick break, as I don't know how long it's going to take for these guys to be ready. Someone probably in the bathroom or something. Yeah, as soon as we do get done with the bathroom breaks, we'll be right on back with this game. Gentlemen, hello and welcome. Sorry about those technical issues, but we are in here now with Colossal Gaming versus Extreme Esports. Colossal Gaming, these guys are no strangers to the grand finals of the Raw Esports. And so, yeah, they were in our last finals as well, under a little bit of a different name. But here they are, once again. Always some good players up in this league. 
So we'll see how they can do up against another set of great players, Extreme Esports. Mr. Prime UK starting things off as best as it's seemingly possible with a 4K now and already looking to get streaks and streaking around on his opponents, taking down another one. Man, this guy is looking super duper cracked today. And so, yeah, Extreme Esports getting time off of P1, denying the rotation to their opponents. Mainly just Prime UK. You don't really need anybody besides him. Oh my goodness, taking down another one. And Susky does finally put an end to his reign of terror. I think just a little bit too late, though. Susky is going to be falling down, though. And so, Colossal Gaming, they will get some time on P1. But as you can see, Extreme are already on the next objective. However, there is still some time for some diciness to go on here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the enemy teams are completely enveloped within each other. And so, ooh, good moment there for Extreme. Like I said, first team to get a full team wipe usually has something good happen to them. And that means you can keep on killing your opponents on repeat and dictate where they're going to be spawning at, get a whole lot of hill time. And so, it appears that Colossal Gaming was able to just get up in time. The last player died pretty slowly after the rest of them, so they were able to get back up before they got into the spawn trap position. You can see the Extreme Esports players getting there quickly, but didn't quite get there in time. So, Quinn trying to come on in here. Oh, Quinn and Exify just going in and taking that shell and eating it for breakfast. And just like that, they wipe the entire enemy team again. This is going to be 20 seconds. It should be in their hands. XFI going to be securing that for sure. And the next hole as well is going to be Prime UK. Back at it once again. 9 and 3 already with a cruise missile in his back pocket. So Extreme, they're going to be sitting pretty on this first objective, getting these last 10 seconds. So pretty much the rest of Extreme Esports has the opportunity to rotate. However, they are doing it in a little bit of a disjointed fashion. So that is going to give Colossal Gaming a little bit of a better opportunity to set up. Good thing for Extreme is that they didn't all get full team wiped there, so they will still be able to make a good concerted effort, and Colossal Gaming will not be able to set up the spawn traps yet. Oh, that cruise missile though, you saw it. Mr. Prime UK tried to call it in, but unfortunately they had a trophy system on the objective, but <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it just didn't quite work out for them. So that's a cruise missile wasted. Good job on Colossal Gaming for throwing down that trophy system, otherwise they would have all 100% been dead. So Colossal should be able to get the last little bit of time off here. As you can see, main man Quinn trying to get up on the next objective and keep it on lockdown for his guys. Colossal Gaming, they're going to be looking to get some time on this next one. They're going to be looking to rotate for it, but with the full team wipe, Extreme Esports is going to try and push them towards the bottom side of the map. They know exactly where they're at now, so they're going to be spawning top closer, and opponents are going to be spawning farther away bottom. However, the long-range angles are kind of helping Kaiser out up against Prime UK, and so that's going to be meaning that Colossal Gaming are going to be able to get a good rotation to this objective as well. And so, this is an objective where you can kind of turtle on the inside. As you can see here, that's what a lot of the guys from Colossal are doing, especially when you don't want to know where your opponents are going to be coming from, and they're all still up and ready to fight you. But now that they've gotten a wipe on them, they're going to be looking to get a little bit extended on the outside of the map. You see Pricey holding the outside lanes. Both sides of it even, and so, yeah, anyone that tries to go up against him could be slipping right on past, actually, as Prime UK goes right on in and kills Akuda, taking the hill right out from underneath their noses, but Pricey doesn't take too kindly to this, going right back on in, only to be falling to Exify. So, this should be 15 seconds on the board for Extreme Esports, going to be maintaining their lead at the very least, it has diminished quite considerably, but... Colossal Esports, they're a good team for a reason, they're here for a reason, so it's not just going to be a blowout in the favor of Extreme Esports, and you should not expect that. Colossal Gaming do have a rotation to P5, the final hill of the rotation, and so this is a hill that can be a little bit difficult to break and keep major control over, especially since because it's so close to P1, you're always going to be challenging it to the very end, so it can be one of the diciest hills on the map. Although, it can also be one of the most money hills on the map if you get full team wiped right here, which is exactly what's happening to Extreme Esports, getting a little bit gapped towards the top of the map. And so, yeah, Extreme getting taken down one at a time, and so their pushes are being very, very unsustained right now. Able to always take good trades here is going to be Colossal Gaming. Susky all by his lonesome, looks away at the worst time possible, and Quinn will be able to win out that trade. Any player trying to come back in and make it dicey once again, and there goes Akuda, another one for Akuda, and so, yeah, this hill will be dicey to the very end, but at the very least, Colossal Gaming will be, will be colossally, I guess you could say, catching up to their opponent's lead and pretty much negating it. Again, though, Extreme Esports, because of the nature of the P5, are going to be shelling it out to the very end and looking to keep their opponents nice and dead so they can get good rotations here. This part of the map is all about killing. This part of the rotation, excuse me, is all about killing. You want to just keep your opponents as much as seemingly possible. You're hunting them. You're, they're your prey. You're trying to get them all dead all at once and just try and get, bait them in with this hill time. 
That's exactly what Extreme Esports is doing. Good stuff so far. And they're gonna bait in another one. That's Kaiser down. And so, they might be able to get a pinch onto Akuda at the bottom side of the map. Unfortunately, one of them will be dying before Quinn can get in position. Akuda will still fall, though. So, that does mean that Extreme are going to be getting a very major position in terms of holding on to this next objective. They do manage to find him, though. So there should be a good next tail coming out from Colossal Gaming, unless Ghost and Prime UK have anything to say about it. Or even Exify. Exify up in here and ready to do some damage as well. Ghost this fall. Good help from Exify. Trade out game going on still. And in goes Prime UK. There you go. Wiping out his entire enemy side from the bottom side of the map. Quinn will be letting him know that he just has to face forward and look out for Susky here. So, Prime UK getting a little bit closer to the action. Ghost taking down another one. Susky falling now as well. So, Colossal Gaming. It's going to be a little bit of a Colossal team wipe there, I guess you could say, as they looked pretty darn set up for this objective, but Prime UK and the guys, again, making great trade-outs, keeping Colossal respawning towards the very beginning of the objective, allowing them to spawn down here and get good time on it. So, Colossal Gaming, once again, having to capitulate a lot of time to their opponents. Susky really does not want to do this. And wow, he's actually going to shell this at the last minute. Extreme Esports, I guess, got a little bit too comfortable with the fact that their opponents were not shelling at the end of these objectives. And so, they will be able to not only get that hill time, this last little bit of hill time, which could prove to be quite crucial, but also, on, they're on the next objective as well. This hill's looking to be a bloodbath, though, as Kaiser going in, taking down two. Huge moment for Kaiser there. As he's looking to establish his reign over this objective, as he throws down a trophy system as well, so that means that this objective is going to be a little bit less dicey for him. However, you can see it's a good idea for him to throw that trophy down because already two, like five nades have flown onto this objective. And so, yeah, very good on him to do that. Ghost still trying to come on in, knocking at the door, asking some questions, and trying to bait him on in so that Quinn can get some shots on the other end, but not quite happening for him. So Colossal Gaming all the while just getting a whole lot of time on this objective going on in. Kaiser takes him down, 50 health from that grenade. And so, this could be a moment where Extreme Esports, ooh, good one from Prime UK there, does get the last 15 seconds and finds Pricey as well. So, not only does that mean that the last 10 seconds are going to go in the hands of Extreme, but they're very weakened on the next objective, Colossal. So the other three players from Extreme could have a great time finding Susky here. Susky main man here. 20 and 20, trying to keep things alive for his team. The IGL himself, I do believe. He's at least my point of contact for this game. Prime UK is on the hunt. He's looking for him, and he does beat him out with a sub. So, Colossal Gaming going to be getting knocked off the objective yet again. Another full team wipe at literally the worst time possible because Extreme Esports, they can win off this objective right here, right now. If we don't see any major contests coming in, and there you go, exactly what you needed. Susky coming on in. Full team wipe of their own. And so, Colossal Gaming, like I said, they're not out just yet. They maintain this game very closely. That was a break that needed to happen. And so, this is going to be a big moment here as well. They're looking to wipe them out once again. This Whoever gets full team wiped here could very well lose the game. And it's going to be Extreme Esports that gets the kills. So, 10 seconds left on this objective. Looking to make a rotate. But luckily for Colossal, they space out their deaths enough that they're all up once again and have the mid-map pressure. Kaiser going in for these last 10 seconds, trying to deny as much time and rotational ability as possible for Extreme Esports while they set up. Extreme Esports only needs 16 seconds, and Colossal need like four times that if I can do math properly. But Susky does know that there's someone here, does take him down. Nade does go in but misses completely, and what a wipe coming in from Colossal! A Colossal wipe coming on in here, ladies and gentlemen! As Extreme Esports are going to be reeling from that one. They can lose off this objective. I, yes, they can lose off this objective. Math once again. And in goes Ghost trying to get a break back in. They got to stop this from happening. Prime UK getting stopped by the trophy system. It's going to be gone now. But on their back is going to be Kaiser. Holding down the middle of the map. He does get found out. And alone is going to be Susky holding things down. And in comes Price to save his bacon once again. So it's going to be 10 seconds left. One final opportunity here for Extreme Esports, and can they do it, ladies and gentlemen? Quinn going on in for the final shell, and it will be stopped short, just barely, by Colossal Gaming. So, don't count these guys out, ladies and gentlemen. They may have looked down and out, but a great little bit of wiping, a great resetting, holding the middle of the map, and the rotation forced Extreme Esports into dire situations and so, they were able to really use that up against them. Well played all around on their part. They are going to be taking this first map. 
a quick look at the stats. Nothing super amazing in terms of their KDs, but again, it's not just about the KDs, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely not. Like, seriously. You can get completely outkilled by your opponents and still win this game. It just does depend upon when you get your kills, more or less, because, again, you saw it. They were getting a little bit outkilled on most of those objectives. Most of those objectives they're getting outkilled on. But they were able to get P3s pretty strongly. They were able to get a good rotation of P5 that time. And so because they were able to maintain such a close margin to their opponents that entire time, the ability that they had to rotate to the next objective and get the whole team wipe on their opponents on the rotation, that was the key part right there, is that they held the mid-map pressure. Their opponents just didn't seem ready for it, unfortunately, and they just got completely annihilated as soon as they ran out of the embassy itself, ran out of P4, got completely smoked. And so that's going to be giving a lot of situations for their opponents to set up on the next objective. They know they're going to be spawning towards the top of the map and just lock it down from there. That forced their opponents to be in like a dire situation where they just had to keep challenging over and over and over again and getting team wiped over and over and over again. They just kept getting split up there towards the end and it was just a great situation for Colossal Esports. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of map number one. Embassy, will, Embassy Hardpoint will be going in the hands of Colossal Gaming and very well played. That does definitely show that they have a little bit of ice in their back pocket, I guess you could say. A little bit of just cool-headedness. The ability to put your head down and say, guys, we're not losing this. We might be behind by a quite considerable margin, but we're still going to win. We're not losing hope. We're going to play this one through to the end because anything can happen, really, as long as you do have the skill. And they clearly have the skill. So that does bode well for them going into the Search and Destroy. Sometimes Search and Destroy, I would say a lot more than any other mode, can be a little bit of a mental game because if you do have some rough things go on early on, especially if you go like 3-0 to down, and you can start getting in your head be like, oh shoot guys, we're in trouble. We need to start doing some crazy stuff. But sometimes you just need to do the thing you're currently doing a little bit better and it can just sort of affect your mindset. It's a very mental toughness heavy mode. I would say a lot more than even hard point, a lot more than even control because you can literally be 5-0 down and still come back in this game. Whereas in, can, in hard point, it's a lot harder to do that. It's a lot harder to be one point away from losing in that. So... Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going on in to Embassy Search and Destroy now, a map that we just watched, but it's going to be playing a little bit different because we do have the introduction of snipers, as I'm sure you guys know. Attacking on this map, I've been watching a lot of EU challengers recently, casting EU challengers, excuse me, and in that, they were able to get a lot of great things going on because of some overwatch from some snipers. You can basically go to any one of these objectives if you have good AR and sniper overwatch. I do see that is something that is being held by the side of Colossal, so might be seeing some Susky Snipes. Hashtag Susky Snipes up in here. Do we have any of that coming on in here from the side of Extreme? Does not look like it just yet. No, the map is going to be pricey. Looking to hold some mid-map pressure. As soon as... Ooh, Prime UK to his credit. He tried to get it going, but unfortunately unable to do it. Good trade out coming on in here. So it's a one-for-one one trade, making their way towards a Akuda, right around the corner, waiting for somebody to go in for a peek, and they do manage to fry Kaiser off the top. Oh my goodness, that is a crazy place to plant it. Exify getting sniped as well. Susky putting him in the dirt, and there goes another one. Quinn on the response, though. So it's going to be a 1v2 situation here between Akuda and Ghost. Going to find him and does... But all Quinn has to do here is walk over the bomb! Oh my goodness! Dropping down low, almost loses that. I mean, almost wins that, but either way, Extreme Esports. They found their pick. They found their guy that was isolated towards the bottom side of the map. They had great overwatch. And they got the bomb plant down. That's basically all there really was to it. So, yeah, it's unfortunate that they didn't see that their opponent was planting quite out in the middle of the open. Otherwise, I think if they, if they had known that, they probably would have busted open that door, but... I mean, obviously they don't know that. They don't have wall hacks like like I do from Codcaster. You can literally see th people through walls here, but they can't. So, yeah. A little bit hard there to judge for Colossal, but it was just really well executed from Extreme Esports. Ghost. He's been sussed out, but does only bait things out for Exify. Keeping him nice in a way there, but the bomb is dropped so that... So Ghost, oh my god. He's looking for a Kuda here. And he does not manage to win. Akuda should be getting taken out here, though. But Kaiser does have some good Overwatch for him. So he will be saved at the end of the day. And coming around behind him quickly. Prime UK. This is a big position for them. Akuda is basically safe as long as Kaiser gives him some Overwatch. It sounds it's going to be proc'd. 
Dragon Fighting trying to come in from a different angle, gets completely fried by Akuda. That's huge. But coming up behind the sniper is going to be Prime UK. Does not manage to get him, though. He's giving him the slip there, Kaiser. Well played. And so, Extreme might be in a little bit of trouble here. Akuda has made his way up top. Oh my god, no, no, so unfortunate. XFI sitting in the corner and picks up the Vaz. So that does leave things all on the shoulders of Kaiser with the Tech 9. Sorry, the Tech. I'm not casting CSGO anymore, but either way, Colossal Gaming, a little bit of an opportunity in there by Extreme Esports. They kept their cool once again. They just said, hey, our opponents got a plant. We don't gotta take this fight to our opponents. They gotta go and eventually go for this bomb plant. This guy can stay down bottom all he wants. He can overwatch them all he wants. But eventually, we've got to we've got to look on their spawn. As soon as they go for the plant, we're gonna know that it's time to pinch in. They never did though, and so it gives Extreme Esports the opportunity to go up two to zero. Oh. From UK and the guys going for a dash. What a great nade coming in from Colossal Gaming. And so it's going to be meaning that they're very weak. Just one tap is all that is made from Akuda. Another one going down, but doesn't expect the third to just fly in like a lemming like that. But I mean, Ghost, unlike a lemming, will be surviving that situation. Making his way down towards A. I like this a lot. Is going to have to look out for Pricey, though. I'm sure he's going to be... Oh my god. Free kill for Ghost! Great rotation from him. And so now he's going to be looking to see if he can get in yet another kill. This is crazy for him. They're gonna be expecting him to go for this bomb plant. And oh, look at for Kaiser. Big kill from him. And he escapes from Susky. That's huge. Ghost going for the ace. Susky all alone. Susky snipes. Can he do it? Ghost actually gonna be looking for a rotate back to B. I love this guy and his rotational expertise here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Ghost going on in once again. Bomb planting. It doesn't expect Susky to come after him, and he's a hundred percent right. And so Ghost looking for the ace. Quinn, back off. Please let Ghost get the ace here as Susky is looking for him. He's trying to suss him out. Got a sniper and a pistol up against Ghost's Vaznev in the close quarters. It's going to be really hard for Susky to get this kill. And Ghost just patiently waiting. No reason for Susky to be saving his life here. Except for not giving streaks to Ghost. He does hear him though. Calling him on out. Can he get it? And he goes, and there's the ace for Ghost, ladies and gentlemen. What a play coming out of him. It was starting to look like Colossal Gaming was going to make a Colossal comeback, but clearly Ghost had other ideas. See Susky just trying to make the most amazing midair dive onto the bomb site, but doesn't let him get it done. So, yes, ace baby for Ghost today. If the... If the scoreline wasn't enough to get Extreme Esports in a hyped up mood, I'm sure that that was. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy on him, Ghost. That was incredible. Colossal Gaming trying to dolphin dive away from nades, and they do know that there is somebody on that back corner there. Still trying to go for this bomb plant, though, but Ghost is going to get traded out finally. I do believe that is before he's able to get... Oh, not before they're able to kill the bomb carrier, though, and Susky! Getting a little bit fried there, but Pricey will still be alive. Does manage to evade the wrath of his opponents. He does hear the window crash above him, so he should know that Quinn is behind him. Is he too stressed out to know this, though? Because sometimes things like that can go right over your head when you're just getting shot at by your opponents. He should know this, though. He's looking for Quinn. He sees him, and he kills him. There you go. Now Pricey! Might be going for a little bit of an ace of his own, ladies and gentlemen. Exify is going to be a difficult person to do that up against, though. Exify has got a good angle. Ready and waiting for Pricey. Bomb is down. So Pricey will have to eventually make his way back in onto Exify, right into his path. Exify is playing this positionally very, very well. And... Oh, Pricey hurting him. Trying to come out from on top. Just trying to stay away from Pricey. Trying to deny the kill. This is going to be uncomfortable for Pricey. Does he go for this bomb plant? Or does he expect him to come out from on high? He's wasting time. Time is running out, Pricey. you got to make a decision here, friend. Exify, he's hoping that he will check for the bomb plant. But Exify, he's no idiot. He's going to be waiting for him to play. And he's like, no, you don't understand how this works. you got to play it. And then I'm going to pop up and kill you. Not before. So, Extreme Esports. Patiently, icily, holding that one off. And no ace coming out from the other side. That's very well played. Very, very well played.
And I really do feel for Pricey. He was in a difficult situation where he had to get an ace or lose, and there was not a whole lot of time left. Just goes to show how difficult it is for Ghost to get something like that. And there he goes, looking to get Susky off the table once again. And another one onto Akuda. He's saying, let me show you. It's so I'm so nice, I can do it twice! As in he goes, looking for Pricey, but not quite gonna... Not quite gonna get him that time. No ace for him this time. So, yeah, Kaiser... 0-4, trying to get a turn and burn, but still going to remain killless as Extreme Esports. Gonna be looking to 6-0 Colossal Gaming in quite the turn of events here, ladies and gentlemen. This hard point, the last hard point, it was so freaking close, but this search and destroy has been anything but. Like I said earlier, the search and destroy is a mental game, so if you check out, even if it's 5-0, to zero, you're toast. There's no hope for you. And so I'm hoping that that's not happening to Colossal, who's got the butcher's knife out. And we'll see what can be done for Pricey and Colossal Gaming. Kaiser still killless. Pricey gonna be able to find an opening onto Ghost, which is huge. And Kaiser finally opening his kill account on not just one. But to big moment for Kaiser, the redemption arc is starting to begin, ladies and gentlemen. And now, Exify's all alone. How much he can really do, and a perfect round for Colossal Gaming. They're not going to be getting completely blown out, which is good. And so, hopefully, that's the little mental regain that they need in order to get this game a little bit closer. Wow. Talk about one pixel being enough there from Susky. Incredible aim from that little head glitch position. And so... We're still on match point, ladies and gentlemen, but it's it still might be looking bad score-wise from Colossal Gaming, but again, this is where I said ice comes in handy. If you can frazzle your opponent, you just gotta out-mental them. You gotta play this like it's 0-0 and everything is on the line from every point forward. So, yeah. Colossal Gaming. Leaving B a little bit exposed. Susky putting away the sniper, actually. This is interesting. In favor of getting some close quarters combat on the on the B site with the Baz. In the meantime, Kaiser going on the flank. Unexpected. Does take down one. And oh my god, he sees Ghost. Free kill onto the back of Ghost. And just like that, Colossal. It's better late than never. They're making some great adjustments. The redemption arc for Kaiser is happening. And so, Extreme Esports, they're down a player. They've got no way in onto B. Kaiser's got this mid map hold onto them. And so Extreme, they're gonna desperately try to find any exposure of a player. But at the same time, Colossal, their their formation's looking pretty tight. I don't think they're gonna be getting easily pieced out. Unless maybe Quinn can take a good 1v1 here up against Susky. Time is really running out though, and Prime UK is running out of a luxury that is time does find Kaiser looking the wrong way. Goes on in, but into the hornet's nest he goes, and that's bombed down right in the belly of the beast. Quinn has to go in. He's got to go huge. Sees him, and just trying to back off on this Susky. Coming from the opposite angle, well played again from Colossal. They're not done just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it's a mental game, and you just got to take this one round at a time. Susky and the guys, they're doing that. I'm sure that the fact that they were once... A lot of them kill us, and now they're starting to get right back even and killing out their opponents in really good rounds. I'm sure that's got to be feeling pretty good. It's going to be at least softening the blow if they do eventually end up losing this map. Again, though. Me playing every single round like it's 0-0. Colossal Gaming going on in for this bomb plant. Overwatch from Pricey. And he is going to be providing some great, great Overwatch there. Bomb plant down. Don't even have to challenge out for this. Ghost will be able to catch one who overextends. It's pretty weak though, and all Colossal Gaming have to do is play defensive. 30 seconds is all that it takes for him to win this one. Pricey gonna try and get some Overwatch to Akuda, because as long as he's looking over him, he's safe. But as you can see, Extreme Esports, they're getting in position, they're ready to go. And watching it from multiple different angles is going to be the ARs. They planted the bomb very well for themselves here. Kaiser should be able to see the defuse if it's happening. And yes, he does. Does get rid of Exify here. Does lose one up top. And so they do have to go for this defuse. They have to go for a hot defuse right now. Ghost going for it. And his teammates will watch over him, giving him great coverage. No comeback today. We'll soften the blow a little bit. But Extreme Esports are still going to be, by all accounts, dominating in the search and destroy.
I really do admire the never say die attitude from these guys though. You could tell that they still fully believed they could win. Even in that final moment. Even with Kaiser being the only one left up, I could tell. I could tell they believed they could still win. And so, yeah, it's definitely good to see that Colossal Gaming. It's never too late for them to, well, at least in their minds, to make a change. But sometimes there are objectively times that are too late to make a change. So hopefully they can make their changes a little bit more quickly. If, if, especially if we end up going into a map 5 into a search and destroy. It is still 1-1 one to one, though, so we will get at least a map 4 out of this. And we will be able to go back to another hard point, which was... Pretty 50-50. It's going to be a map that is a lot more favorable to rotating, which I did see some good stuff in the rotational department coming out from Colossal. I don't know if it was just because Extreme Esports was trying to play the map the way you play that map, and they would play Hotel the way you play Hotel. But just the rotational prowess seemed, at least from that map, a little bit better for the side of Colossal. So I would favor them on this, on this hard point. So if they can win this control, man, oh man, they might be able to still win this one 3-1. to one. Still a lot on the line here for Extreme Esports. This map is, again, quite a lot about killing, especially in the middle of the map. They've, I guess these guys really think they can just outkill each other because of these map picks. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be LSELO. And like I said, this map is a lot about killing, especially in the middle of the map. It's about mid-map pressure because if you can get control over the middle of the map, then you can, on the attacking side, you can pretty much take whichever objective you want. And then uh, on the flip side, if you cover it from the defensive side, then your opponents can't really take anything. You can run up into their spawn, you can kill them, make it, your life absolutely miserable for them as they try to go on the attacking side. So, yeah, mid-map pressure is something that we're going to be keenly looking at as we go into this El Asilo control. Wasting no time in getting in here. I love the passion from these players. Sometimes, after a situation like that, teams will be like, guys, pause, we need a, we need a minute. We need, to, we need to talk about that. We need to regain... But, I mean, I guess they've already hit the regain button, ladies and gentlemen. As you, as those last two rounds, they never they never really seemed like they were too down on themselves. And I, I absolutely respect that from Colossal Gaming. Colossal on the defensive side first, looking to get some mid-map pressure here. Susky and his teammate... Looking to see if you can catch him out, but a stun gonna be landing it means that Kuda will be taking this challenge solo. Great placed util from Extreme Esports. And staying on away from Kaiser, enough to where Exify can get this take away from him. Susky coming on in, well taken from Extreme Esports. Normally I don't point out some util throws in Call of Duty, but man oh man was that impactful because it completely meant that Susky was not gonna be able to help Akuda on that push. It completely changed it, that one flash. On the outside of the map, they did their thing. They had Exify taking control over the tower, and they still got good control over the middle of the map. So, it's quite likely that, especially if they find Akuda here, they can rotate to the next objective very quickly. B is wide open for the take, and they should know that they've got three down. And in they go for the take, the jugular, the kill, Extreme Esports. And I just noticed this. Only a singular kill for Colossal so far. That is... The epitome of horrendous. <laughs> that is not what you want for Colossal Gaming as they get a singular kill in the round and Extreme Esports just shut the door on them. Man oh man, I have not seen a more one-sided round of control, especially on Elisilo in all my days of casting. That was impressive, my friends. Impressive. Like, good lord, a singular kill. <laughs> That's something. That is really something. Extreme. They know how to attack. I'm sure based on that they know how to defend because attacking and defending aren't too far removed from each other on this map. Especially in just like how you do it. <laughs> As you can see Extreme Esports expecting their opponents to try and go for more or less the same thing they did but they just know how to defend against their own attacks. So Extreme Esports looking very strong here. They still have Quinn over here. Does run out of bullets and is a little bit exposed here unfortunately for him. Prime UK coming around the back. Does get a little bit taken down, so going to be tripling their kill count here. Colossal Gaming showing that kills. Even if you don't have a whole lot of them, you can still do pretty good if you just have some good overall macro. As they're about to take B completely up from underneath the nose of Extreme Esports.
Kills finally going back into the hands of Colossal, and with those kills, they should be able to get a good cutoff on Exify and the guys. Yes, it's another two down, and so... If they can retake this mid-map control from Prime UK as well as Ghost, then they should be able to get A rather quickly as well. We saw the exact same thing happen when Extreme was on the attack. So we'll see if Extreme can do any better when they're on the defense. Catching the guy in the corner, Ghost, and almost getting away scot free. Unfortunately, there's no one from his team to help him out here. Great stuff from Exify. Contest coming on in right before the second tick does come in. Akuda in the corner and does manage to get found again. Pricey down low, and yes, we'll be able to get the better of XFI. Tick will be cleared though, but at the very least, Pricey will be denying the long angle onto the tower from his opponents. Prime UK does manage to slow down the tick just a little bit, but still, it's looking good for Colossal to take this one very quickly. Extreme should have one final opportunity to contest here, but Kaiser is watching the entrance and does stop them dead in their tracks. So Colossal Gaming going tit for tat with Extreme Esports on the attack. Uh, it seems that both teams are doing great things on the attack and struggling on the defense so far, so I think that's going to be where the game is won or lost for either of these teams, is who can really get the mid-map control on the defensive side and use it most effectively. I thought it was going to be Extreme Esports in that round because, again, their, the initial merge was so good for them, they completely wiped out the entire enemy team, but from there, they, they kind of left B a little bit naked, so it's especially with X5 being all by himself, so... Oh, Susky! Looking to find another one, but can't quite. Does at least delay the push. Kaiser getting a little bit of cost up top by Quinn. Flash will be missing this time, but not the bullets from Kaiser. Well played. Does eventually get taken down by Ghost, though. So this does open things up for a B push. Susky coming on in. Does take down one, and ooh. X5 will be getting him, but again, better trade. Coming in from Colossal Gaming. This is what you need. You need the trades to be mixy, you need them to be messy, because as long as you're on the defensive side and you can at least kill two of your opponents when they're killing two of you, if you can trade out evenly, you can easily go in for the retake. Especially if your opponents have no trophy systems. So, in goes Kaiser, trying to be a huge player for his team, does find one looking for Ghost and gets him as well. Claire coming in from the side and it's Quinn, but can't manage to get the final tick. And so, Colossal Gaming, they're up to two kills. Only lost two ticks for the time being. Extreme Esports are moving around their opponents quite well, but the mid-map control is still there, and you can see how impactful it is as Akuda taking their feet out from underneath them, sweeping them right off their feet, and Extreme Esports are going to be <laughs> right back into their spawn from square one. Stopping the clock for the time being, but this is what we needed to see from one of the teams on the defensive side. A team that wins out in one of these occasions goes in and flanks their opponents while they go in for the other objective. They stop, they cut off the tempo of their opponents, they get some more kills, and they keep on resetting their pushes. This is good. This is great stuff from Colossal Gaming. Kaiser getting away for the time being, and wow, Kaiser! Beating the ever-living daylights out of Exify, looking like a proper good player in that situation. And so, at least just Quinn. Quinn does get him on the second attempt, though. And so, 10 seconds left. Really, really running out of time. Stopping the clock in time for his teammates to get onto B, though. This is good. That was exactly what you needed in that moment for Ghost. And so, they should be able to keep this game going a little bit longer. But how much longer? They've got no lives left. You're either going to run out of lives or you're going to run out of time. Either way, Colossal Gaming going to be winning the first defensive side. So, it might have been a slow start for Colossal Gaming, but like I said, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. I want to give a callback. One kill only for them in the first round. They got completely blown out of the water, but somehow, they're making adjustments sooner rather than later. They made them a little bit too late in the search and destroy, but they're not making the same... They're, they're sorry, excuse me. Not making the same mistake as in their making better adjustments sooner. They're getting better control over the middle of the map. They're flanking their opponents when they do good on the defensive side. And so they could end this right now, especially if Extreme Esports isn't able to replicate that.
They're at least able to replicate the trade outs that we saw going on in this early part of the game. Exify another one down on the Susky, and so this main push is going to be down to Akuda. Does at least find one. So has a streak in his back pocket. In the meantime, Kaiser finally the only guy onto A, but with this mid map control, Prime UK could make a bit of a nuisance of himself. They all stack on the objective as well, so Prime UK, gotta be seeing this. Gotta be starting to look for some people. Does find one, but realizes it a little bit too late. Better reactions from Kaiser. And he goes, getting stunned off by his own teammate, but still finding the kill. And Ghost looking for this final player. And he comes to him instead. Still gotta win this one for the hill. There you go, Ghost. Stopping A from being capped in the immediate. He's afraid of a counter shell coming on in here, so he's gonna look to regain this mid-map control. Allowing Prime UK to come on in and clear this pick. And this is what we needed from Extreme Esports. When they get the kills, they look to punish, they run out, and they try and get their opponents as far as humanly possible from making another push. Unfortunately, they do get caught in the act, so it will still be a fast cap onto A for Colossal Gaming. Dusky, trying to get a little bit up and behind them, and as you can see, his teammate is here, so he's just sitting here, waiting. Because he knows that it's going to cause some difficulty for his opponents. The longer they don't see him, the more they wonder where he is. And so, yeah, that does give some space for Akuda to come up behind and kill the guy that killed him. Get a great position for themselves. Unfortunately, they are spawning them towards the top side of the map right now, which means that Fossil Gaming is going to be having a little bit of a hard time while they are in this position of getting their opponents away completely from this objective. And Ghost, still in a great cutoff point. He sees Kaiser inch the door open. Finds one, looking for another ghost, can't quite get it, but at least delays the push in time for his teammates to get in positions for the counter shell, but it's not a good one. Kaiser looking a little bit better than his opponents once again, but Prime UK doing the same. Taking down two, looking for the four man wipe, trying to get the turn and burn, but the, the door kind of puts them off of it, unfortunately. And so, Colossal Gaming looking to get their way onto B, they're slogging through it, but they're still getting very, very close. They're running out of lives, running out of time, but they can still get it done. All they need is one good push. He knows where one player is, but there's just too many options. Too many options there for people to kill. And so, Colossal Gaming will be getting repelled from B. Extreme Esports, looking like they're having a good defense of their own. So, both these teams having great answers for each other's good moments, I guess you could say. I don't quite recall how many ticks they got, though. I think it should still be about even. I don't think either team got a singular tick on the objective that they didn't take, so... I think it should be the final defense going in the hands of Extreme because they... outkilled them in the first round, or it should really just depend on that final round because... No, they are going to be having the final attack. I guess that final round didn't really make a difference because let's not forget... Colossal Gaming, they outkilled their opponents in that one round, that one final round, and they didn't take as many deaths in a lot of these rounds, so let's take a look at the deaths. No, they definitely have more. So, I guess they must have gotten a tick somewhere here or there. Either way, Extreme Esports, on the final attack, and they, in the last round, their attack, it was okay, but they definitely need to change something. Allowing their opponents to come to them, faking out a B push, expecting the flank. They catch one right on back. But Susky, once again with the hold up play, I love this. I always love seeing this from players on the flanks. They do hold up play because sometimes it can be better holding up the play than going on in for the kill. Knowing when to go in for the kill is sometimes better than just flying right on in. But unfortunately, Colossal Gaming, they are going to get a little bit gapped on their hold on B. So, Stream Esports is going to be looking to get full control over this while Ghost still looking to harass their back line. And their front line as well. He's just literally everywhere. He's flying through walls. He's a ghost. He's quite literally everywhere. And so in he goes. Looking for another one. Does get Susky down as well. And so Extreme Esports. Control over B. Not looking to be contested anytime now by Colossal Gaming. They should be capitulating on this one 100%. There's no way that they go back in for a secondary challenge on this. They're looking to hold the middle of the map. Ghost. Player in front of him, player behind him. This is a big moment for Colossal. But Pricey gonna get killed on the outside of the map. That leaves these players on the inside a little bit in an interesting position. They're still in a spot where they can kill all these players, but they just have to know that they're there. Escaping Exify, well played, and so they know exactly where Exify is without trading out a player. 
extreme esports allowed to just funnel through here because, again, the lack of mid-map control here for Colossal is a little bit astounding. <laughs> Susky, well-placed trophy system there. I was not expecting Exify to die like that. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. You could tell by the fact that I was laughing about it, but either way, that could be a huge kill there for Susky, and he didn't even try to do it. <laughs> And so that does delay the push from Extreme Esports. Super duper unfortunate. And that might be one of the things that cost them this. Great push is going to be getting completely cut off by that, as well as just the good gunplay in general. So Colossal Gaming, they're going to have an opportunity to reset up on A. No quick take coming out from Extreme Esports. And in goes Susky onto their back line. Take him down one. And as soon as they go in for a take, he's going to flank them and completely cut their feet out from underneath them. Speaking of getting cut off, XFI really stuck away from the rest of his teammates. He could do something interesting here if he does find Pricey. But I think Pricey, little does he know. Oh, now he knows. It takes down XFI. And so, looking for all these final players. Prime UK just baits him on in for Ghost. And so, there is still an opportunity for Extreme Esports to break on in here. But the back line positioning from Colossal Gaming as well as the fireworks coming in. The cruise missile looking to wipe this late clean. Just gotta not kill your own player here. Great trophy system though. And man, oh man, they somehow do it, ladies and gentlemen. Extreme Esports pulling one over on their opponents of Colossal Gaming. I was really starting to think that Colossal, it was gonna be the most immaculate of comebacks, the greatest of glow ups, but unfortunately for them, they called in the cruise missiles while their opponents were fully stacked on the objective, the trophy system completely blocked them off from doing anything. And a player that they needed for the push was really unable to do any damage because he was stuck in that cruise missile. So, Extreme Esports. Huge moment for them. That was, that was really huge because not only are they going to be going up 2-1 to one in the series, but let's not forget how close that last hard point was. I would not call this one for Colossal by any means. Like, straight up. They, they won the first map. By literally the slightest of margins, they just barely squeaked out their opponents on that one because of some good rotational prowess at the end of the game. Now that being said, that is something that should help them going into this hotel hardpoint, but I just can't necessarily give it to them because I know that Extreme Esports, they play the maps the way they're meant to be played. They weren't rotating on the, on the first map necessarily because... Yeah, it's, rotations aren't necessarily as important as getting kills, and they were really trying to lean into that a little bit more. So I'm not going to completely hold that up against them just because they were getting a little bit out-rotated in a lot of those hills. And it was the major thing that killed them in the end, but I will still hold that against them if they don't end up winning this one. We will be going to a map 5 if they do lose this one, which means we'll be going into a search and destroy, which they're very good at. But again, I can't count on this one either way, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be going to a quick break while we set up hotels. Quick, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are wasting absolutely no time, and I love it. I love the passion. I love the, I, I love the feeling that they just want to get at their opponents. We want revenge as quickly as is humanly possible. That's the idea from these guys, and I'm all for it. I, I want more of this. And so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go in for Breen Bird Control. I think it's... Again, I can't call this one either way. I think it's going to be a pretty even matchup. Both both teams did very well in the last hard point, but if we do go into the search and destroy, that and him, it's a must win by a significant margin. See here, XFI. Trying to go in for a flank on the spawn, but Colossal Gaming doing a very good job of holding it off. So you're not only getting initial time, but also, wow, full team wipe. That's good for Colossal. They should be able to get some time here, just a little bit uncontested. And in the meantime, they still have complete assurance that P1, sorry, the P2 spawns are going to be completely safe. So with that kill, only 20 seconds remain. That will get Extreme Esports exactly where their opponents are at. But with a higher likelihood of gaining a lead off, this is going to be Colossal. All they have to do is hold their setup. And they'll be fine, but already looking like some trouble in paradise for them as Quinn. Oh, I love this angle. It's so cheeky. And there you go. Finds Kaiser. I love seeing people do that. And he completely dismantles this hold from Colossal Gaming. Incredible, incredible stuff. And uprooting them from the spawn once again. And somehow, he's still alive. Akuda, not quite able to find him, but does just have a little bit more health in the situation. So, Colossal. Colossal regain there, I guess you could say. I thought that they were toast there. I thought that they were straight up toast, but the transition from take to reset up from Extreme Esports was incredibly slow, so especially because they were trying to start their back line for so long. So that does give Colossal Gaming a lot of time to flank them because they did lose the spawns for a little bit and just completely envelop them and retake it. Well played. 
Extreme Esports, though, going for the rotation to P3, and so this is a hill, ladies and gentlemen, where, in my experience of casting this, it's best to just hunker down on the objective. You can give up literally everything else, but you just gotta hold the inside of this, man. If you're... If your opponents get in here and you're like only two people, then you might be in a little bit of trouble. But if, no matter what, if you're four people in the objective, it's very hard for them to take it from you unless they're just objectively better than you. Yeah, and leaving those people on the outside is going to be causing it to only be two people on the objective now. And so coming in on the other side, Extreme Esports are about to get enveloped and taken down by Colossal. So, yeah, that's what happens in my experience when you don't just put four on this objective. And so, Extreme Esports... What could have been a great hill for them, in terms of hill time regaining the lead and extending their lead, is going to have to be a little bit of a retake. So, they do go in, they do eventually retake it, and they fry Colossal completely. So, this is this should be 20 seconds that they get for free, especially if Ghost is able to get this kill, yes, yes. And so, on the rotation now, Extreme Esports, because that full team wipe was so recent, they should be able to get a rotation to this next objective pretty handily. Pricey coming in through the middle of the map, though. Gonna make things a little bit dicey for Prime UK, but, I mean, does really good in these dicey situations. Takes down one, but Susky knows exactly where he is. That mid-map pressure coming in clutch for Colossal. Great retake from Extreme Esports and another full team wipe. So this is great. This is exactly what Extreme Esports needed to come right back into the game. They're forcing their opponents out down towards the bottom of the map. And so if they can catch them out again, then this could be a little bit of a difficult situation. But coming in from an unexpected angle is going to be Kaiser as well as Pricey. Wow, wow, wow. Another great retake. And so with this spawn rotation they still have, that's going to be denying a decent amount of time for Extreme Esports as well as the possibility of the rotation. So, yeah, really great moments to be killing there. They they might not necessarily get the most amount of hill time off of it, but they do more or less guarantee that they're going to be able to rotate to the next objective more or less unhindered. Ghost, though, proving to be quite the hindrance, taking down two players, and is going to be harassing the opponent's back line quite considerably. He has, however, thrown his hand a little bit early, but still... Colossal Gaming not picking up on him very quickly at all. And so he will be completely evaporating their back line, their cohesion. It's being a little bit chaotic on this objective. And that does allow Extreme Esports to thrive. So, another great retake coming in from Extreme. And Colossal going to be forced out towards those top side spawns. Let's not forget, the next hill is going to be towards the bottom left side of the map. Which Susky is trying to cut them off of the rotation for. At this point, this is this is pretty much all you can do for Susky. Your opponents are more or less stuck on this objective, and there's no way you can really get them off with your current position. So he's just going to try and deny as much hill time as possible, trying to deny the rotation. And wow, doing a little bit more than that. Honestly, well played from Susky. Doing even better than I thought could have really happened. Doing better than the best case scenario. And so, wow, this is, literally is better than the best case scenario I had lined out for Colossal Gaming. As they not only uproot their opponents from the spawns, deny the last 10 seconds for them, but they're looking good. They wipe out their back line. And Extreme Esports, they're only coming from, I would argue, a very predictable position. When the team nades Exify, and that's their push completely and utterly finished. Great time for Colossal. They're expecting their opponents to try and make a mid-map play up in here through Bedroom. That's what Susky's worried about. Extremer also trying to go for a little bit of a play through their opponent's spawn, which is the proper way to be breaking here. It also has to be supplemented by a mid-map play, which is also coming through for Extreme Esports. This is good stuff coming out from them, but Akuda, great aim under pressure. They do lose this objective, but, I mean, they make it dicey enough to where Extreme Esports are all alone on here. Going in, Akuda does get taken down by Ghost, but at least tees him up. Susky for another good kill. The end of the rotation, you really can't decide who's going to be winning this once again. Extreme Esports, they may be in the lead for the time being, but Colossal, we've seen them have good hills, we've seen them have bad hills, and we've seen them have, like, even better than they really should have hills. So, literally anything can happen. Or at least, that's where I stand right now. Colossal Gaming looking to regain the lead, as they get a lot of good time off of P1 again. However, Kaiser, his days are numbered, and Ghost is going to be looking for the flank. This is a big moment for him. If he can manage to find Akuda, he can't. But at least he knows where Prime UK worries at, but Akuda finding Prime as well. So,
Colossal might be able to colossally regain their spawns. I guess you could col say colossally come back into this game. That would be a lot better of a colossal pun than that. But either way, Akuda will be losing there. And that does allow for a good rotation to come out from Extreme Esports. Pricey, though, trying to maintain the spawn. Could be a hero for colossal gaming. But Extreme, they're on the objective first. They're going to be able to get at least the first little bit of time. And Colossal Gaming, they don't really have the best of setups for a retake coming in here. The only really good thing they have going in here is going to be pricey. Now, Sussy coming in from an opposite angle. This could be big. If Kuda bides his time, at least gets a kill. Yes. And so, Prime UK is going to be found out. And Quinn should be easily pinched out now. Great utilization of different positions from the side of Colossal. Only letting 25 seconds go into the hands of the enemies, and they could still very well pass their opponents off this objective. If they do manage to hold off this 2v3, which would be very hard, they would have been able to get the good rotation as well. Prime UK solidifying these last 14 seconds for his team, and this is very huge time. This will be making, like, the biggest lead we've seen in recent history for these guys. Colossal Gaming, they're trying to stack on the next objective. This is something that we did see Extreme Esports do when they had this opportunity. But a not-so-immaculate team shot to the back of the head of Susky's teammate will be leaving him a little bit exposed on this objective, and Exify will fry him. A pricey with a great trade-out kill. This objective is going to be a little bit more dicey now because Extreme Esports were allowed to get in. Prime UK 3K! Change your name to Prime 3K as in he goes, taking down another one, and Susky falling by the wayside. Quinn with another two kills. This is a hill that Colossal Gaming should have been able to get a lot closer to their opponents on, but instead, Extreme, all they gotta do is deny at least a little bit of this time, get the rotation to next, and they can win off of any of these remaining hills. All they need is a good rotation, and they're in it to win it. In these last 20 seconds, is gonna hurt for Colossal Gaming as well, because... They literally can win off of any break with these last couple of seconds now. And already setting up for that break is going to be Exify as well as Quinn. Extreme Esports, they are going to be getting completely evaporated off the objective though, so there is still a good moment here for Colossal. Prime UK trying to switch things up though. We've seen him go on 3Ks in the past. Mr. Prime 3K here himself, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see what he can get done. And Ghost, Mr. Ace, coming on in here, looking to find Susky, and does. That's one off the objective. Stunned out. We're not completely out. Blossom well, Gaming holding things off very nicely, though, but great contest spot from Ghost. They do have to challenge him on this angle, very unfortunately for them. Ghost going in, and there you go. Great break coming in from Extreme. All hands on deck for Colossal, as they have to break this right here, right now, or they lose the series, ladies and gentlemen. Susky, flying by the seat of his pants, does get the kill, and looking to do it all for his team. He's about to have two people breathing down his neck, and Quinn beats him first time, asking Akuda coming around the back. At the very least, they do push this into another hill, ladies and gentlemen. And so, yeah, where there is a will, there is a way, but they're literally one second away from defeat. They just need one singular break, and in goes Exify. Can he get it done, ladies and gentlemen? Can he do it right here, right now? Four Extreme Esports, two down, and in comes Ghost from behind. Still time for Colossal, but not time left anymore as Extreme Esports do coolly take that objective away from them. And with that, the series winning all the... Winning the last three maps in Extreme Esports, they looked extremely good, I guess you could say, in Hardpoint, as well as Control, and especially Search and Destroy. So, we do have our champions here, ladies and gentlemen. Extreme Esports are going to be taking the day. They, they impressed me in a lot of those games. I thought that you could really... I, they didn't ever really look like they were content to surrender this game to their opponents. They never really got in their heads that they were going to be losing this. Even when they were 5-0 down in the Search and Destroy... They still played as if it was basically dead even, and I respect that extremely. I, I also love the fact that they were able to come back and win that hard point. So there were really good moments for Colossal, but there just weren't as many, obviously, as there were for Extreme Esports. So they were end up being our champions of this season once again, ladies and gentlemen. And just hats off to them. Guys, go ahead and follow Extreme Esports on Twitter. They are our champions. They deserve your love and adoration for that. And so, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Make sure you guys follow Raw Esports on the way out. They do put on awesome leagues like this for EU teams to come on in and show their stuff for a little bit of fun and a little bit of...
if you want to follow Colossal Esports, they had a great showing, even though they did get a loss 3-1 to one in the finals. They still had a great season. They had a great game up against Extreme. All these games you could cut with, an, with, an, with a butter knife. It could really have gone either way, in my personal opinion. So give them some love as well, ladies and gentlemen. And if you are in a loving mood, you guys can also give some love to me on my personal socials, at Comica underscore on Twitch and Comica underscore 18 on Twitter. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you guys. And I will see you all in the next...